friends, welcome to Disha Academy. This is video number two of the Loom Band series. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to make the fish tail bracelet. But in this video, I'll be teaching you how to make a fish, fish tail ring. This is a fish tail bracelet. I'm going to do this bracelet in a ring form. This and this are both fish tail bracelets. And I'll be teaching you how to make that today. Okay, first step is you want to pick your colors. You can pick one color, two color, three color, or four color, or how many ever colors you desire. So, I want to pick red, green, and blue. With these three colors, I'll be teaching you how to make the Loom Band Fishtail Bracelet. Step number two. After you picked all your colors, you want to start making your Loom Band Bracelet. First step. Take your first color. For, I'm going to go red, green, and blue. Red, green, and blue. So I'm going to take my red color. I'm going to first, only the first, time you want to crisscross and put it in your fingers make sure it's pretty down so it doesn't um come to your corner of your fingers and um just snap out second color is green instead of when we make this bracelet one like this which we made last video um we twisted it again but for the fish trail bracelet you want to put it flat and then you want to take your third color, instead of two colors, you want to take three colors. You want to do flat again. Then you want to take your bottom one and put it in the top. For the first part, we crisscross the red. But this time, we only crisscross the first red or first color ever. Then you want to t um, take your red flat again, bottom to the top. Now green, bottom to top, bottom to top, blue, bottom to the top, bottom to the top. My loom bands are now at the edge of my fingers. And whenever your loom band is at the edge of your finger, make sure to put, pull it down. Also snap out. Now, red, green to the top, green to the top. After you beat it a little, you'll start to notice that your loom bands are not connecting together like so. So you want to pull your first loom band, you want to pull it so that it forms this type of pattern. Okay, so let's continue with making our loom band bracelet. Flat. You only make your first loom band color crisscross. Then you continue with the rest as flat. And remember, make sure you don't make your loom band bracelet too big or else it's going to lose because rubber bands are easy to stretch. So if you make your loom band the correct, the exact size of your wrist, then your loom band bracelet is eventually going to fall. So I got my ring size. So this is how much I need. So now we want our locks. We learned last video that there are two types of locks, the S lock and the C, C lock. So this is the S lock and this is the C lock, S lock and C lock. You know that because the S lock is in the shape of the letter S and the C lock is almost in the shape of the letter C. So. After you got your locks, I wanted to tell you something. 
When making your loom band bracelets, you can put beads or charms in your bracelets. I'll be teaching you how to do that in the next few videos of the loom band bracelet series. So for now, let's continue with this video. Today, I'll be using the S lock again. So you want to take your so for the ending step, we have two rubber bands. You want to take your green rubber band, you want to put it on the top and release. And then you want to do that for the same for the other green on your index finger again. Now you want to give it a little pull. This is the pattern. Now you want to put your middle fingers half rubber band. You want to put it in your index finger like so. Next, you want to take your lock, make sure you close it so nothing spills, and you want to pull it, put your thumb or another finger inside, and you want to put, have a little gap. Then you want to take your S and you want to hook it. So now this side is good. So now to connect it, you want to take the first rubber band you put, which I put the red, and you want to take both of it. You can either pull this side or this side. But for um, but you want to take both sides. And you want to take your other side of your lock and hook it. See, it's hard to hook the lock when you have only one finger. So it's always easy to put two fingers. So it's easy for you to hook the lock. There you go, you have a small ring. But since it's rubber band, it can stretch quite well. So I wanna put it, put my ring right over here. That's it for the video. I'll see you next time. Bye!